When a new member is added to a Microsoft team, a generic message is automatically sent out. But what if you want to create a personalized message without having to type an email every single time? This is where a Power Automate flow with just a few steps can help you out. It will save you time and allow the new member to feel welcomed to your team. So let's jump right in and take a look at how this works. I've navigated to Power Automate and we're going to click on Create in the left-hand navigation menu to start a new automated cloud flow. It is a best practice to give the flow a name so that Power Automate does not assign a generic one. In this example, New Member Welcome. Then we're going to select our trigger. For our scenario, it's a Teams trigger when a new team member is added. Once you've selected the trigger, then click Create. Now it is time to select which team Power Automate needs to pay attention to. Click the drop down next to Add Team ID and select from the list of teams you belong to. In this scenario, I will choose Power Automate Demos. Next, let's click on New Step to add the first action. Search for Office 365 Users Connector. Once you select that, you will see actions related to that connector. Scroll through the list and choose Get User Profile Version 2. This is going to pull in the Microsoft 365 data, such as email, username, job title, etc. In the User field, we are going to use Dynamic Content to pull the user ID from the trigger. In other words, get the information from the first step to use in the second step. Click New Step so that we can add another action. We're going to look for Send an Email Version 2 under the Outlook 365 connector. This is where we begin to personalize the email sent to the new team member. In the To line, use Dynamic Content to look at the user profile data in the prior step and pull in the email address. As a tip, do not pull in the user ID from Teams because that is not tied to an email address and will throw an error. In the subject line, you can type a generic message or use dynamic content to personalize it a little bit. In this scenario, I will take the display name from the person's profile and then type, Welcome to Power Automate Demo Team. In the body of the message, you can put as much or little information as you need. I often see people include things such as a welcome statement that uses the new member's name, and then add some information about how the team will be used. In this example, I am going to include the department from Dynamic Content and say, this is where employees of that department work on the Power Automate demos that they will then share with end users. Another thing that is useful to include is to tell people how to get started with the team and where to find the files. So I'm going to direct my new team member to look at the files tab in a specific folder for a specific type of document. Now, sometimes the documents that people need exist in other locations such as SharePoint. To make sure our new team member can find that document in SharePoint, I will use the add a link option in the formatting toolbar and embed the link into the message. Continue adding information as is necessary for your business process. And as always, I suggest that you save and then test your flow. After that, check out these other Power Automate videos and I'll see you there.